look at you guys. Elon, who else is there? Isabel? Yeah, hello. And Chrissy, do we have Chrissy on the line? Yes, hello. Look at you guys. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Doing great, doing great, guys. Okay, so arguably one of the biggest folk bands in North America right now, I would say. <laughs> yeah, seriously, guys, you guys have all the buzz, sprig of that. So great to guys ha have you here. I mean, I can't get enough of your new album, guys. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's a big accomplishment. We're pretty proud of it. Why, why, why is that? Why, why do you say that? Is it just because of like just getting it across the finish line? It's so been something we've been working on for years. This is our first, I mean, we've been a band for about five years now, but this is sure. our first um, big statement piece, you know, first full length album of original music. So it feels totally. really good to have it out there. And for us, I was just going to say for us, it was also like a sort of a big a big step forward. Um, I mean, we'd spent the first few years working in Minnesota and in the Midwest, and, and we'd ventured outside of that. But here we took a big step, you know, up in, in hiring a, a, um, a producer who's a national artist and has all this experience and, and has this name. And we went to Nashville to find the really right studio. So it was, you know, like Isabel said, it it, it means a lot to us personally, but it's also a big sort of con a, a big chunk of big concrete steps for us as a band. Totally, Elan. But, you know, it has to be extra fulfilling in 2023. I was thinking about this. Um, an album with no songwriting, you know, built purely on the sound that, you know, that you guys have built and to get the acclaim and the buzz that it's gotten, right, Elan? Like, it has to be, like, extra, extra cool. It feels great. You know, with so many, so much music coming out every day and so many things to pay attention to, um, to have people interested in what we're doing and have people responding and paying attention really... I don't know what else you could ask for. Yeah, absolutely. Chrissy, I wanna, I wanna bring you in and I wanna ask you, you know, something, just, just this whole album is, is a trip. I love it, Chrissy, but we wanna hear from you. When you dream of a song like, I don't know, like River Song or This Time Last Week, you know, you guys dream it up, you hear it in your head, uh, however it goes, you know, and a perfect example of that is like, you know, This Time Last Week, the video that you guys did at the South Emporium. You know, it looks like child's play. It's just like the process, how it develops into the songs that it is. It's so great. It's almost like a magic trip, Chrissy. Is that the joy of being in a band like this? You know, building something from nothing? Like, it's almost like Legos, right? It totally is like Legos. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think it's uh, like, I feel very grateful to have two really wonderful bandmates to work with. Um, and I think we work really well together. And I think that is like such a gift because it does feel like play. Um, it feels like, you know, interactivity and connection and, um, you know, when we when we play live, I think there is a really like palpable sense of joy between us and the audience. And I feel like that translated really well to the album, which is very exciting. <laughs> It really does, and, and you can't fake it. And since I have you here, Chrissy, before heading over to Isabel for a second, let me ask you about this incredible instrument that you play for my audience that doesn't know. It's called the tabla. It's a staple of uh, Hindustani classical music. You know, how did this instrument come into your life, Chrissy? You know, as a little girl, you know, how did you become enamored by it? And, and you know, and, and now that you master it? Sure, well, I started out, um, I actually didn't start playing tabla until I was 20. Um, so I started in college and uh, I had taken a class. I was a, a percussion major um, in college and I took a class and uh, fell in love with it the, that summer. And just all I did was play tabla and watch tabla videos. And um, yeah, and then I, I got hooked up with my teacher and uh, continued studying with my teacher and got to go to Mumbai a few times um, back and forth. And uh, yeah, and I just, I love it. Yeah, it's it's great. It's great. I hope you, you know, it continues to grow and you bring it to Nashville as well. I think it, it would be welcomed everywhere. Um, Isabel, let me go to you for a second, because, you know, uh, Chrissy was talking about the creative process. And, and I'm curious about what you think, Isabel. I mean, um, I, I ask, I, I want to know if you enjoy it. And the reason it sounds simple, but the reason why I ask is, you know, I've talked to some of the greatest musicians and composers on the planet. You know, I've got to talk to Billy Joel. I've been lucky and, you know, Mary Wilson, Billy Givens and, I remember Billy Joel was describing Isabel the pain of writing a song and starting a new project. He he once uh, said he described that he looked at the piano like a shark with teeth, 
And that's, you know, it, it like scared him every time he started a new project. Do you enjoy, Isabel, when you sit down with someone like Ilan or like Chrissy and you guys are starting something from zero? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that's one of my favorite parts of being in this trio is getting to work on that creative process with the two of them. Um, we all have pretty different approaches to composing and we bring in different ideas and jam on them and we improvise a lot together and just and record it and see what kind of comes about. And, you know, a lot of the tunes on this album, we have been playing for years and they've gone through various iterations and they've kind of evolved even after we're like, okay, it's done. Then we'd perform it for a while and be like, mm, let's try this here, you know, and have they've all kind of gone through this creative process. Um, and I think that's like one of yeah. my favorite parts of playing with Elon and Chrissy and also being in this band is it feels like even when we finished a song, it's maybe not done, you know, there's always this kind of fresh um, possibility that we bring in in live performance and like, you know, there's it's always evolving a little bit in subtle ways. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. You know, let, let's bring Elan in here for a second. Elan, you know, that's wise words there for, for Isabel. I'm glad that you that she still enjoys it, you know, but as a music maker, Elan, you know, you've written and you've arranged for all kinds of projects. Uh, you know, you've done orchestras, podcasts, lots, you know, high school choirs, a lot of bands, and now finally here with Sprig of Dad, Elan. Don't you agree that as we get older, and I get a sense that like you're in your 30s, kind of like me a little bit, but I'm more cynical with everything in life. You know, music feels more and more magical though. And, and I think you captured that really well in your album. I just felt like just listening to your album in research with Sam, my producer here the past couple of days, it just got us to a sense that all the crap that's in the news, everything, we're so cynical about everything, but you captured with music the pureness that still exists in life, yeah? You know, what a, what a compliment. Um, I hope so. I feel so lucky that there are moments where listening to it, I, I, I feel that way too, that we were able to find that. And, and, and I, I, I don't know how to judge that beyond my own ears, you know, so to hear you say that, it, it really means so much. Um, uh, you know, I can't speak for the other two, but, but also like you're saying, like, as I get older, even with music, you know, it's sometimes it's work and sometimes it's stressful and sometimes it's not. And, and at its best, I'm always trying to find those moments that do, that do feel like that. And I feel like, I feel really lucky that with this band, we can have those um, often and, and even more lucky that there are other people who would feel that way, because that's just not something that you can really you can really control, you know, I, I, we do something because we love it and we put our best into it. And, and if other people enjoy it, what a gift. So thank you, really. Yeah. No, I mean, I, to totally heartfelt. Chrissy, let's get you back in here. Uh, I have to ask you, I feel like I'm asking you like the softball questions, but they're very important questions nonetheless, Chrissy. How did you guys meet? I know, you know, the, the lore is out there online, you know, 2018, but like fill us on the details. How did you know that this was like a thing that like could materialize into into what it is today? Totally. Um, so we met through a, a mutual friend. Um, I had just gone to uh, this workshop and I had become recently much more enamored with like American folk music. Um, and I knew that uh, Ilan and Isabel had recently moved to the Twin Cities. Um, and so we decided to get together and jam. And um, I don't know, I feel like our first rehearsal was really magical and wonderful. And we, we felt a connection for sure. Um, and we took the time to really, I mean, like what you said earlier about play really resonated with me because um, I think we did a lot of that in our first rehearsal, just taking things apart and putting things back together again and lots of building um, right from the start. And uh, yeah, and I think it, it just felt really good pretty quickly. Um, and so then I asked them if they wanted to be in a band. <laughs> also, it was you, it was your idea. <laughs> I mean, kind of, but they said yes. <laughs> good, 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 good. So it's almost like, like for a musician, I mean, I'm not a musician, but I have a lot of musician friends in Nashville. It's almost like dating, right, Christy? Like when you're jamming with all these bands and you finally kind of found the ones, yeah? Yeah, totally. It's definitely like a very specific and special relationship. And I think you have to be able to, you know, communicate and work well together. And there's definitely got to be like a musical spark and musical chemistry. And I think we're really lucky to have all those things happening. 
love it love it thanks Chrissy for filling us in I, Isabel tell us a little bit about you know you guys recorded this album here actually in Nashville since we're talking about it at the Sound Emporium studio which is legendary studio founded in 1969 by uh by Jack Clement um tell us a little bit about it what it, what it, how it was to record in like a special place and, and by the way is it a special place because I've had people tell me both things I've had people say about like iconic spaces that there's magic in the air but I've also had people say it's in the songs where do you fall as well? I think it definitely felt like a magical experience. It felt we had worked so hard to get to that point and then like walking in to this space where we knew so many legendary albums had been recorded and amazing musicians had been before us. Um, it definitely had that kind of energy to it. Um, and then to have such an amazing team we were working with, with Dave Sinko engineering and uh, Wes Corbett producing, it was, it just felt like it was a lot of work and it was really hard, but it was uh, so beautiful and um, special. Like the whole ex week was uh, nonstop and like amazing, <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah. Ilan, do you want to add to that? How was it recording uh, at the space? Yeah, I mean, everything Isabel said, you know, something that really stood out to me is is one day there was uh, one of the one of the engineers, we were there late finishing up nine ten o'clock and and we were chatting with one of the engineers who was uh working the front desk that night and, and 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 we had the we had the pleasure of being in studio b and he says to us you want me to take you into studio a and we said oh wow yeah and so he took us in he showed <laughs> us around i mean it was so special he's saying you know here's the reverb chamber that they use for this sound and here's where they did this and the board and then everything and and i remember maybe it was that night or the next night i was online and they had just posted uh, in Allison Krauss and Robert Plant Tiny Desk concert from Studio A at Sound Emporium. And I was watching that just thinking like, oh my God, we were just there. Like that that's where we were standing three weeks after, you know, Allison Krauss and Robert Plant were standing there. They touched that keyboard. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that that's what you guys are doing now. Uh, and you guys have been so good with your time. Thanks, Ilan. Chrissy, let me leave you with this. Let me give you that last word, Chrissy. Tell us a little bit about the live performances that you guys are, and you guys are touring a lot this year, and people should really check you guys out. But just, you know, it, it seems like you guys really enjoy it, just watching the live performances online, Chrissy. Every performance is different, even if it's the same song. It just looks a little bit like jazz. It just looks like you guys play of each other. It, it, it's it, You guys really have something live going on, right, Chrissy? Yeah, um, yeah, live performances with Sprig are uh, just the thing. That's it for me. That's all I look mm -hmm. forward to. <laughs> um, and, you know, I think it is a little bit different every time, um, but I think that we get so much from the audience too. Um, so every different space that we play in and every like, um, I don't know, kind of, variance of of the audience energy is like really special and interesting um i mean like we played uh, a gallery space in milwaukee uh over last summer and it was just like so like quiet and focused and then we played um kind of more like a, a bar space in appleton and everybody was still really focused but it was just like a different energy it was like a more um raucous energy and i just like i loved all of it um and so i think that being able to connect with audiences is definitely i mean i can't speak for the other two but it's it's one of my favorite parts of of live performance with it's i love it it comes through guys it comes through in the album you know people are loving it all the buzzes would speak of that and Thank you guys so much for your time. I mean, Isabel, Chrissy, Ilan, you guys are even cooler in person, like online. But yeah, thank you so much for your time. We look we look forward to connecting and seeing you guys perform. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, really. Absolutely. Bye, guys. Bye.